Delivery's just turned up and we're ready to go. Right, so it's been a while, but it's a new video for the channel. Um, got a brand new job starting today. Uh, we've literally just had the delivery turn up. Um, this is gonna be a photography studio um, and an office space. Um, small little toilet here and a little kitchenette here, but it's gonna be all industrial style. They want it all blacked out, so it's all gonna be painted black after. At the moment, we're gonna be installing sort of tray and conduit down the walls. And we're gonna be putting some rigid ducts, like spiral ducts out here for the ventilation. And we've got to take a supply um, from our main consumer unit all the way downstairs into the basement as well, where the um, HVAC guy is gonna be supplying their, um, they're gonna need an isolator supply down there and then they're gonna do the, the work back up from there. But as you can see on the floor at the moment, just sort of like putting everything into place, getting it okay with the client before we start, because obviously there's a lot of tray work to do. Um, and he wants it to look quite fashionable. Um, got a load of stuff turned up. Got a fuse box, um, double story um, consumer unit there. Loads of stuff to do, absolutely loads to do. Only problem at the moment is we got no power in the unit at all. So everything we do is gonna be either generators, we got these battery powered lights at the moment which are uh, pretty decent um, until we can get some power supply. Unfortunately, our metal cutter that we're cutting all the tray with runs off 30 now. So we're either gonna need a generator for that or we're gonna need an extension lead from somewhere. So we're just waiting on that at the moment. Basically, the energy provider can't get out and uh, connect up the meters down in the uh, plant room yet. Um, I don't know when that's going to be, but at the moment we're sort of working in the dark with it. So yeah, brand new job starting today. It's going to be me and Rex here. Um, we're going to be probably here for the next 10 days or so, getting everything done. If we can do it sooner than that, I'll be well happy. Um, we're going to start on the basic stuff first, which is like house fashion stuff, which is the uh, bathroom over there. Once that's done, we'll, we'll get on with the tray. But we don't really want to start the tray until we've got some power, because that's going to be a bit of a nightmare. So uh, yeah, let's crack on. As you can see, we've already put one socket in here. Um, there's going to be a sink in the middle of this area. Um, so we've got another socket far side, and then we've got a uh, fuse spur there. We actually have an extractor hood above, um, so it does seem a bit strange having a socket and a, and a fuse spur below the extractor hood. But the funny thing is, the hob that they're having is just a plug-in, so they don't want anything on the top. Um, and they want to utilize the space that they've got so um, it's just going to be plugged in and then put away when they're not using it but there will be a fixed in place um, extractor hood which is obviously going to seem a bit strange we've got a small towel rail to put in this toilet um, so we're going to run all the supplies in for that today and then we've got a hot water uh, hot water um, boiler here just to go above the above the sink it's all electric, we've got no mains hot water, sort of off the boiler or anything, everything's electric. So try and get this small area completed first. Once that's done, we'll start, like I said, looking to do the rest. So um, because of the lack of power at the moment, we've gone ahead and uh, started mounting the uh, consumer on the wall. We've put a few of the RCBOs in for now. Um, these are the circuits that we can probably get done straight away. We've just got our bending ready for when we can do the rest. Uh, just cut a little bit with the junior hacksaw myself. Hard work though. Um, obviously still got to finish that. Rex is over there, running in some supplies for this kitchen area. These are obviously to come back to the uh, this board. Um, as you can see here, these are our cables that we spoke about earlier. And then we've got a socket here. I think he's just putting in the supply now for the towel row and then starting on the lighting. It's a bit dark in here. Um, cable in. Clipped in. Looking extremely tidy. Looks a very tidy job so far. Thanks. A man of uh, not many words. But as you can see here, very, very tidy. Um, Digging stuff out of boxes, basically, but we'll tidy this area up in a minute. This is all set up, ready to go. Oh, 
So as we said yesterday, we've sort of started getting the tray in, boards on the wall. Uh, we're completed in the sort of living areas, which is the kitchen and um, toilet area. Uh, Rex is just at the moment cutting uh, strut for the bottom of the tray. We've just offered our first bit up um, and it sort of sits exactly where we want it to. So the height's right. Um, it's got a little bit of wobbling at the moment because the tray's only on two rods, but it's sat bang on level um, with just a little bit of minor adjustments we've done. So basically just adjusting from the bottom end. Um, but that's going to be our tray height all the way through, just coming below these uh, soil pipes. Um, we've got a T to go in down there to take power to that, and then we've just got a straight run to the end just to offer lights, and um, that'll be the end of that one. And then we're basically going to copy it here, have a T section along this straight run going down, offering lights and emergency lighting. Um, and then on the last one, we're going to have a 90 degree flat doing the same, hopefully coming just below those soil pipes. Um, and then the power along that wall there will be taken from this um, in conduit um, and we will be running it along at high level at that wall. We've got sockets on that wall as well. Um, early doors at the moment, just sort of getting a bit of rod up and getting everything done on the levels, making sure it's right. But um, it's a progressive start. So yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. I wouldn't clean up all of that, that's not all ours. <laughs> Can you go through it and section what's ours? Nah. <laughs> keep it real, keep it opening. It's all dark in there. Yeah. Don't pay attention to that, that's just us uh, checking that our angles are right. That is not a <laughs> finished <laughs> connection. Uh, we've got the tray up through there. We've still got to put a T in here, like I said. Um, then we've basically got to repeat that once more, twice more. And then we've got to do all the conduit drops down the wall. It's going to be light switches uh, all down here. Uh, thermostatic controls, sockets all down here. Cool, look at that dust. That is gross. That is gross. Um, and then there's going to be conduit along this wall as well. Sockets, etc. That back wall there, which is, I guess, the feature wall. That's the only wall that's got uh, nothing on it. Fun and games, fun and games. Uh, let's get ourselves home. Come on, let's get out of here. Back on site, it's uh, Tuesday. We were here yesterday as well. Um, got a load of rod up in the ceiling. Um, I wasn't here yesterday morning. I had to shoot off and do something else, so we've just sort of... <clears throat> got as much done as possible. We might be having to change it ever so slightly because the customers said they want the tray a little bit higher. Obviously, we're governed by these <clears throat> soil pipes. Um, but what we might have to do is sort of come up and then back again, um, try and get it higher to the ceiling. Basically, just put in two 90s here and raise it up to just come below these RSJs. Once we've done that, we should be in a better position. Rex has got a fair bit to do today, putting up those. Um, just picked up some extra caps so we can get all the, uh, I, I really, I wanna get all the tray up today. I wanna get all the containment finished, um, get all the rods straight and everything and uh, then go from there. And then if they wanna raise it, they can. So that's where we're gonna be. Um, that's where we are at the moment. Come with me. I want to show you something. Come with me. Come with me. What is that over there? Go on, keep going. Keep going. What is that there? Oh. Away you go. Do you know how much that costs us as a company, chucking away where it goes like that? Maybe oh, I didn't put it there. The 
guilt. Talk me through your uh, setup then, Rex. What do you mean? Just got your Hoover. What do you use that for? What does that do? All my jobs. If, if you're doing big jobs, obviously you get the Henry out, but. Yeah, well, what, what's a Hoover? I'm not explaining what a Hoover is. I've got no idea. I've never used one of them before. No. It's not in my armory. Just press this button here. Oh, right. And it goes. Ah, right. And it sucks all the dirt up. Oh. Here we've got my fixing tray, drills, batteries, and my socket sets. And. Must all that in the back there. Um, have you ever heard of um, <laughs> rubbish? Ah, okay, yeah, cool. Um, I see you've got my uh, staple gun in there as well. Yeah, well, that's called... Um, Sharon, in, Sharon is Karen, yeah? When you've got enough space, you've got no space in your van, so you chuck it in mine. Should we open my van and have a look? No, let's not do that. <laughs> no, let's not do that. <laughs> right, I'll see you later. On the way to work on a Monday morning through the country lanes. And uh, you can probably see the water on the, uh, <laughs> the windows. I may as well be in a boat. Uh, this is pretty crazy. But this is the way in and out of uh, the job, so I haven't got much choice. There we are, we're just pulling out of it now. Absolute madness. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll take a boat to work for the next couple of days because this is crazy. Oh, we've got another one. Here it comes. Jeez. Mental. Let's get that Clarkson Evans man. So uh, today is hopefully our last day for a while. Um, just getting up these lighting units. We've got nine of them to go up. We've got three up already. Rex is just running the flexing um, to come off of the uh, Kasambi switch modules that they've got. Um, cables everywhere at the moment. But yeah, that's where we're at with it all. Um, by end of play today, Rex has got to shoot off early because he's uh, going, where are you going? Dover. Yeah. Rex is going to Dover because he's got a game in Dover tomorrow. And they're staying the night before. So we'll probably be here till about two o'clock. All the emergency lighting's finished. All the uh, sockets are finished. It's just the lighting uh, on this grid and these uh, matte black uh, six foot units or five foots maybe. Um, and then we're done. And then we'll be back in probably a week or two's time to finish off uh, and get on with the rest of it. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Just um, looking at these cables. We cannot finish these lights because the, the locations of them are a bit crazy. Um, and above, you can't quite see because it's quite dark up there anyway. Basically, cut a long story short as well, we pulled these in as slack, um, sort of above the ceiling clipped along the joists. Yeah. And they put this loft hatch in, which we were sort of not aware of. And as you can see, the locations of the lights now don't work. But instead of the boarders helping us out, Arex, and pulling them into new locations, they've brought them in next to the 
next to the hatch. Yeah, it's a good place for them to go, to be fair. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, can't that, finish that. And then that's the water heater though, isn't it? This is the water heater. That's just above sink sort of water heater, because I've only got yeah. cold feed in here. So I've second things in here, but obviously fuse out, and it's just not connected to the board yet, so that's when you're ready to... And that one there is the towel rail. Yeah. Which obviously, again, can't go until... This is probably decorated, really, so... Yeah. But in that switch there, the, they're all connected. The um, emergency light, obviously, bits connected. The fan is connected up above the ceiling here. So that's ready for um, it adapted and put a little grill in there as well. That's ready to go. But we've yeah. got to do all the ducting down this end. Yes, we have. Anyway, look, there's my gear. There's it's his. not all my gear. There's some more of his. There's our part of our Christmas bonus scheme there. Anyway, let's get the steps on the van, tools in the van. Get the hell out of here. These lights. Right, we're here down at the paintworks and we're coming to the end of the project, literally closing the door today. We've just come down to finish on a few little things like putting the fan grills up where the paint and decorators are finished. This is our starting point. This is the fuse box double stack consumer unit. Obviously, there is going to be a lot of spare ways on here, but this is what the client's asked for because it's adaptable and he can basically add on to it whenever he needs to. We've got um, our H07 flex supply there. That goes all the way down into the basement. That is for the HVAC unit, which is just behind us there up on the ceiling. And then, which obviously is black as well, mask is in the oven. And then we've got our control panel here for that. Then we've got our lighting grid switch here. This switches in sets of three, not in the rows. So that does the first, the second, and the third. These are all on a Kasambi dimming module. So they can all be dimmed down using the Kasambi, which is a little handheld device. Now, working back from there, we've obviously got our emergency lights in place. Six, two on each run, which was specified by the architect. And then the sockets are spaced out all over the place really. They've been, they've been put where we've been asked to put them. Um, so we've got one on each pillar by the looks of it. We've got one down on that pillar, a couple on this wall, a couple on the wall just behind the racks there. And then we've obviously got our kitchen socket area, which has got a sink, which has got a boiling water tap going in, which we're not doing, we just put supply in for it. The fridge with the isolation inside the middle unit, and then an extractor hood up there, and the vent obviously, which is going to be finished, I guess, by someone else, because they did that and popped up into place. And uh, that's pretty much us done now. The last thing I would say is in the bathroom, we've got a small radiator on the wall in this disabled toilet, uh, emergency light again, we've got our IP rated bulkhead, and then just a hot water and heater with the isolation switch just up above. It's been a really nice job, um, and it's definitely one that will go in the portfolio. Like I said before, earlier in the video, all of this tray went in as your normal steel galvanized silver tray, and it's all been painted black to give it this nice non-reflective finish. Um, they've done the same with the ducts that we've installed up here. These have all had exactly the same treatment. They've all been painted black and finished. These are all your metal spiral ducts. So it is a really nice job, and I'm happy to be closing the door on it with the customer being really happy. Um, that's us, and hopefully I'll see you on the next job. Wow.